but China's already started testing 6G. And it's like 2,000 gigabytes. It's like ludicrous. So then uh, what does that mean for uh, our digital lives? Well, think of all the rendering issues you have with 4K universe. That all goes. The, the need to use chips to run phones all goes because you can use it in the cloud because it's instantaneous. So then that means that your digital state and your physical state can really interact. So, you know, that could be an NFT that you only see when I'm in my Zoom call as opposed to it being a physical object. So I can design experiences and, you know, if you think of designing a house interior, many of these things don't need to be physical. They can be digital and they can be integrated. And just that ability, the ability to, right now you can't get maybe more than a couple of hundred people in any digital experience at any one time. So even in Fortnite and stuff, if you have a concert, even though 22 million people turn up, there's actually about 200 physical uh, avatars that you can interact with. Well, that all goes. So then you're physically interacting with everybody and anybody at scale. Okay, that becomes really interesting as well. What does that mean? How do we do that? Is that VR? Is it on a screen like this? Is it a hologram? You know, holograms coming. I mean, I was at Coachella when they rolled out the, uh, the, holo the hologram for Tupac. And it was like, that was mind blowing. Um, and we really haven't experimented much with that. And what AR is going to mean, how that all works, what Apple is going to build out. They're already mapping the entire world in a VR, uh, sorry, AR map where it can be personalized to all of your personal experiences. Um, and it gives you a rendition even of small spaces. So iPhones currently ping your environment. I only learned about this recently. It's like 5 million times a minute or something stupid. But what it's doing is mapping out your own environment. So then it'll have your own personalized maps of what you do and where you go and all of this stuff. Now, obviously, that comes back then to who owns the data and all of this shit, but that, that gets solved too. So I don't think we can really get our heads around what the ability to have massive data speeds, uh, massive processing power could mean. It's like, you know, when we saw the fax machine, could we figure out that the internet was coming? That would be on Zoom calls, right? Before we were just, I mean, that's only 20 years ago, we were faxing shit to each other thinking this was a miracle. And now we're on real time video calls at zero cost. That's the other thing that digitization does. It, it, it drives everything to zero because digital is infinite which is why you needed digital scarcity. If not, nothing works, which is why blockchain is so useful in a digital world because you stop the, the infinite element of digital.